please subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and share this video. I hope you enjoy! Marlo, Marlo, I know you hear me calling. Come have your dinner. Can you stop calling my name, please? I want you to come have your dinner. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. I just want you to eat your dinner. Can't you see I'm in the middle playing video games with my friends? Why are you disturbing me? Excuse me, you need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. This is this is not your house, this is my dad's house. Technically, I'm married to your dad, so it's my house too, and we are now a family. Don't think for a second that you're my family, because you're not. Marlo, why do you have to be so mean? Cindy, why do you have to disturb me every day? Marlo, I'm an adult and your legal guardian. Therefore, I can tell you what to do and what not to do. Cindy, you are a nobody to me, and I could care less about what you say. You know, Marlo, I'm really trying here, but you're pushing it. I don't know why you hate me so much. What have I done to you? I take care of you. I feed you. I make sure you're okay. I don't disadvantage you at any time. Why are you so mean to me? What have I done to you? If you leave me alone, we're good. You stay on your side of the house, I stay on mine. Well, honey, that's not the way it works. You are a child and you need to act like one. If you want a child to control, why don't you just go have one? Oh, let me guess, you can't have one. I can't believe you just said that to me. Well, believe it. When your father gets here, I'm gonna let him know what you said. Who cares, he's my dad. He's not gonna believe you over me. When he gets here, I'm gonna tell him that you hit me and he's gonna kick you out the house and you're gonna be homeless. Marlo, Marlo! Leave me alone! <sighs> Honey. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. What's up, girl? Oh, How was your day? Oh, good. You want this real quick? Yeah. You always look so good. I try to. <laughs> I try to. Dad, I'm so glad you're home. Hey, Mama. How you doing? Cindy has been beating me. What? Now, Marlo, why would you lie like that? It's true, Dad. She called me ugly, and she doesn't even care what you say. Marlo. Are you telling the truth? Really, Jeremy? Yes, I swear. And she said if I tell you, you wouldn't believe me and that you would choose her over me. Oh my God, Jeremy. Marlo has been misbehaving all day. I only tried to make her dinner. She cussed me out. She called me names. She told me I'm not her mother. And she said I should go have my own child. I haven't laid a hand on this girl, I swear. Marlo, let me tell you something. This is a lie. You need to tell me the truth right now. Don't ever blame people, baby, and lie on people. That that's not good. Well, Dad, I'm telling the truth. I can't believe you are lying like this. This is ridiculous. I have done nothing to this child. Why does she hate me? Hold on, where did she hit you? Uh, she hit me in the head, and then she hit me in the back, and then she pushed me down. Marlo, <laughs> you know how I can tell when you're lying, right? Why would you tell such a lie? Because I don't like her. So because you don't like somebody, that gives you the right to lie on them? And if I was to believe you and hurt Cindy's feelings, is that what you wanted? I just wanted her gone. That's not nice, baby. You don't treat people that way. You always be nice to people. You know that. You never know if you're going to need that person. Now go up to your room, and I'll deal with you in a minute. Jeremy, it's OK. I just wish I could connect with her. I know. It's just so hard. I know. It's OK, baby. I'm going to talk to her and get in straight now for us, OK? I smell something. What you cooking with that? I made your favorite. Go on, let me see that. So <laughs> sick, self. <laughs> I just can't believe my husband is gone. I'm so sorry, Miss Cindy. I know times like this can be very hard, and I'm willing to do anything I can to help you and make sure that you're okay. No one could comfort me. My husband's gone. Killed by a reckless driver. They took my husband from me. I know, and I'm so sorry for your loss. My condolences go out to you and your family. I don't know how I'm gonna live without him. He was my everything. He was my lifeline. 
He was my soulmate. Car accidents, they can be very bad when people don't pay attention. When they text and drive and turn up all this music too loud and they don't even watch their surroundings. They take wrong turns and stuff. Even though it's not intentional, it's still wrong. And it costs the life of many people just like it did your husband. Even though the person that crashed into your husband has been arrested, inside of you, there's gonna be a wound that will not heal. So the kid, Marlo, you have a choice if you want to keep her or we can put her in the system and we can find her a home. No, 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 Cindy. Please don't put me in the system. I don't want to go. Please don't let them take me. Well, Miss Cindy, what would you like us to do? I can have CPS to come today and pick her up. Marlo, do you really think that I would give you up? Do you really think that I would put my own child into the system? Marlo, I know I'm not your mother your biological mother, but you're still my child. I was married to your father. Now come here. Well, looks like that's final. I'm gonna give you guys time to grieve. You know if you need anything, you know how to reach me, okay? Marlo, do you not understand that I love you? I care for you, and I only want the best for you. I know. I just thought because all of the mean things that I said and did to you, you wouldn't want to keep me. Yes. The things you said were mean and they hurt, but I love you beyond anything. You're like my own child, Marlo. I'll do whatever it takes to protect you, and I would never give you away. I will raise you, and I'll make sure you turn out to be a great woman. Even though I said mean things to you? Yes. They were very painful and nasty. But I forgive you for that. And we're a family, like I always said. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mom. You called me Mom for the first time. And I will call you Mom from now on, because that's who you are. You're my mother. You're bringing me so much joy. And such a painful time. I don't know how to react to this feeling. It's OK, Mom. As long as we got each other, everything will be OK. You're right. Daughter, as long as we're together, it'll be okay. Thanks for forgiving me. You're welcome. But learn from now going forward that being mean has no good reward. It's always good to be kind. Even if someone's being mean to you, you be kind. Yes, Mom, I will be kind from now on. Good. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and don't forget to share it. Thank you.